I'm in Highland, Indiana at the regional team championships, which are taking place at Highland High School. And some of the high schools that are taking place tonight in the championships are Lake Central, Merrillville, you got Griffith, and Highland High Schools. I'm here with Travis Walsh, who's the head coach of Griffith uh, High School. And uh, how'd you guys do tonight? We did really well. Uh, I put some young kids in to save us for the final match, but uh, I think the score is 51-22. Um, our kids came to wrestle, so I'm real happy. Now, you guys are coming off a fantastic season so far. Can you just give us uh, and our viewers a little bit of an insight of what you guys have accomplished thus far this season? Wow, I, uh, I know we, I can go, we won the Valpo uh, Super Duels, the Harvest Classic, uh, we won the Tricoff, we won the Penn Super Duel, we won the, uh, the Lake County Tournament, we won our, our conference tournaments, we won sectional, and right now uh, we're here at the team regional, and our team set a school record. We're 34-0. and 0. Actually, we're 35-0 and 0 now because we just won another one tonight. Okay. Very, great job. Now, can you can you give us a little bit of, uh, uh, on our viewers, some of the wrestlers on your team that have been making this uh, season so far so successful? Well, I, call, I always call my, my, my top dogs. I've got five guys that are wrestling really well. i got a Jose at 119. He's only lost twice. He's like 48-2. and two. Um, uh, Angel Escobedo, he's our 125-pounder, and he's, uh, I think he's 50-0. At 130, I got uh, Andre Hernandez. He's 50-0. Uh, at 135, I have Alex Surtis, is 51-0. And, and uh, David Martin, my 189-pounder, is 48-0. So th those are my top dogs. But I got several other kids that are doing really well besides those kids. All right, now can you just describe briefly each one of those wrestlers? <laughs> oh, uh... Jose's just a short, stocky guy. Wrestles real aggressive. Um, uh, my, he's my 119 pounder. My 125 pounder would be uh, uh, Angel, r real finesse type of guy, real smooth. Uh, um, he's undefeated, uh, one-time state champion. Hasn't lost in high school. Andre once again plays third and fourth. Um, he, he's wrestled Alex all his life, so he's an outstanding wrestler. And Alex, I, and I can't say enough about Alex. And, and everybody knows Alex. He's like 170. And, 170 0 in high school, and uh, he's after his third state title. And David Martin, uh, he's just my big kid. I call him my finisher. Uh, he's the guy that's always at the end of the lineup. Uh, he's a, a football player, big, strong kid. Has, he had some knee surgery last year. He came back, but he's undefeated right now, and uh, he's on a mission. So, there's my, those are my top, five top guys. All right, Coach, thanks for your time. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much. Okay. Well, I'm here with two of the Griffith wrestlers. I'm here with, is it Andre Hernandez? Yes. And Angel? Escobedo. Escobedo. Now, uh, now, Andre, how'd you place last year? Last year I took uh, third at 125. So. And what are you wrestling this year? Right now I'm uh, 130, a weight above it. And Angel, what about yourself? I took first at 112, and right now I'm wrestling 125. How do you prepare for a match, Angel? I just get uh, mentally ready, you know, prepare myself what I'm going to do in my match. I see what I'm going to do before I go out there and do it. Okay. And what about yourself, Andre? How, how do you prepare for a match? Just like how Angel said, I visualize my match and uh, go through my moves and what I'm going to do on the match. I practice it. Now, now what do you think it takes uh, to, that separates the guys that are, you know, the, the, the cream out of the crop there, the guys that go down the state? What, what separates those guys from the other guys? Probably hard work, and, and the, most of us wrestle, like, during the whole season, like, all year, so that probably separates it most yourself also you know the goals some guys just want to make it down to semi state yeah. man the guys that make it down the state want to win the state title and then they work in the off season that's a big thing so off season and, and you got to set your goals then right yeah. you know I, I don't want to be just make it down to semi state i want to be state champ that's kind of what you're saying then right that's all right you guys man good luck this season okay wait one more quick question for you uh i see you switch headgears with uh the guy who wrestles before you who who is that and what do you guys share the head, headgear what's going on here oh, that was his headgear i I lost my headgear. I can't find it, so I had to ask him for his. I thought maybe it was some sort of ritual that you guys kept throughout the whole season. Well, good luck in the season, you guys. All right. Well, I'm here with two other uh, uh, Griffith wrestlers, and this is Jose Escobedo. Escobedo and David Martin, I believe. Uh, Martin the third. Martin the third. Okay, now I'll start with David here. David, what weight class are you wrestling this year? 189. And you know, what'd you wrestle last year, and how'd you do last year? Uh, I wrestled 171, but I blew out my knee last year at the first tournament. Okay. Uh, you know, I worked hard in the off season though to get back in shape, so I'm just out here doing my best. And how do you prepare for a match? I mean, what you see your opponent there. I mean, how, what pumps you up to go out and wrestle your best? Uh, you know what? God is in me, and, you know, he gives me everything I need. All I got to I mean, I practice hard during the week, and I don't want to practice that hard to go out there and lose. Gotcha. Now let me ask Jose a couple questions. Jose, you come from a line of uh, family members, the Escobedos. You know, you guys are powerful. Uh, seems like you guys are all going down state and so forth. What separates you guys from all the other wrestlers? Um, I think it's because we work together to work harder, 
and like we train when others aren't training because we're always with each other and uh, we can watch each other what, when what we eat and keep our weight down and stuff like that. What are you doing different this year that you didn't do in the past that's causing you to have such great success? Um, I'm trying to stay more in my stance than I was last year because last year I just bent my back over and I'm trying to stay lower this year. Do you study films, things of that nature? Yeah, a little bit about the way I wrestled because I've been wrestling bad these past few weeks and I just want to see what I can improve. All right, well, good luck to you guys, all right? Thanks for your time. All right, all right. Now, the last time we had Alex on the show was a couple years ago. He was a freshman, and he had just won state. Now, it's a couple years later here, Alex. And uh, I'll tell you, I watched you wrestle, and uh, you look good out there. What's going to happen? Uh, what, what do you got coming up in the next couple of weeks here as a team and as an individual? Well, Team Semi-State, I, I don't know who won. I didn't hear yet, but we, uh, we're looking to face Portage. So we're going to have to step it up a little better the next week. We're going to have to get some more key wins instead of the key losses and have those guys step it up. And uh, the individual tournament, you just got to worry about yourself pretty much and do what you got to do out there. Well, I think tonight it was just a big momentum swing with uh, them getting a few big wins, and then that just carried their, mo their momentum over and over again, which uh, really got them going. So I think we just need to be able to stop that somehow and uh, do better with that next week. Now, Alex, what are you doing different this year from the previous years that's helping you, helping you elevate your game even more? As an individual, I'm pretty much working hard and everything else, same as the pr past uh, two years. But as a team, we're really uh, working hard, and everybody's doing their job. So that's the main uh, main difference from the past two years. Now, and when he says work hard, and we got some of the other wrestlers talking about wrestling in the off season and staying in shape, I can attest to that. I work late in our studios getting these shows on, on Channel 3, and one night this past summer, must have been about 9, 30, 10 o'clock, I'm out there, and I see Alex out there jogging down the sidewalks. Running away. Were you preparing for a tournament? What was going on, Alex? Yeah, I, I like I try, I have to stay in shape for the off season tournaments as much as possible too, so I go out running every once in a while. So what kind of advice would you give little kids out there that want to be wrestlers? Set their goals high and just work for them as hard as they can. All right, Alex, good luck to you in the future, okay? Yep. Thanks for being on the show. Thanks. All right, take it easy.